You can use the go to definition command to jump to the definition of a symbol in your project. This would include things such as classes, functions, local variables, and other things that would be defined in your language. Now there are a few different ways you can trigger go to definition, so let's take a look at those in this TypeScript project. Now the first way is, let's say I was interested in learning about these promises variable here and seeing where this is actually being defined. I can just right click, and then in the context menu here, say go to definition. And when I run this, you can see that it's moved the window up here to view the promises declaration here. And it's also put my cursor here. So I can see very easily, here's where promises is being defined. And I can see what the actual value is for that. Let's just go backwards here. And another way to trigger go to definition is with the keyboard shortcut. And the standard one is F12. Now go to definition is a pretty common operation. So you probably just want to memorize this. So let's say I was interested in the uh, CTS variable here. I could just go and press F12 on this and then we'll jump up to the definition of that one here. So very easy to go and just press F12 to see the definition of something there. Now, a final way that you can trigger go to definition is you can actually just click on a variable and see where it's being defined. Now to do that, I'm gonna hold down Command on Mac or Control on Windows and Linux. And then when I do this, you can see I get a little underline here that's showing as I move around through this file. And then I'll just click and you can see that I've jumped to the definition here. So all I had to do is hold down Command on Mac or Control on Windows and Linux, and then I was able to just click and jump to the definition there. Now, you could also you go backwards here. Now, you could also use the Command Palette to trigger Go to Definition, but the two that I find myself using most often are it's either using the keyboard shortcut, so F12, because that's just very convenient to be able to trigger, or holding down con Command or Control and then clicking, because that's also a fun way to explore your code. So that's a quick look at the Go to Definition command. It's supported for any language that has rich IntelliSense. So out of the box, that would be things like JavaScript and TypeScript for VS Code. And then you can come along and install extensions for languages like Python and Java. They would also add go to definition support for those languages.